Right now, mission managers at the Kennedy Space Center are meeting to decide if they're ready to launch that giant Artemis One moon rocket one week from today. We're expecting a briefing tonight about their final decision. And the Space Coast is expecting some 200,000 people headed there next Monday to see that launch. But New 6 is discovering you might still hear it and even feel it without going all the way to the Space Center. New 6's Eric Moninkin is exactly 45 miles from the launch pad in Altamont Springs tonight. And Eric, you could potentially hear it from where you are. Maybe. Maybe, Lisa. So I had a very theoretical conversation with a rocket propulsion engineer. He says that it's possible, if the conditions are right, that that sound from that mega rocket could travel as much as 45 miles away, which would be right here, Crane's Roost in Altamont Springs. NASA's last mega moon rocket, the Saturn V, that delivered astronauts to the moon in 1969 was the most powerful ever at the time, with seven and a half million pounds of thrust at liftoff. Until the space launch system headed for the moon on Monday for the Artemis I mission with 8.8 .8 million pounds of thrust. And liftoff. Even the space shuttle with its three main engines and two solid rocket boosters only had just over 5 million thrust pounds. We've never had something this powerful launched before, so we're in an area where we really don't know. The SLS has four main engines. They're actually the shuttle's old engines recycled and solid rocket boosters longer than the Saturn V's boosters. So certainly that power, the sound and feel of liftoff will travel farther. So, you know, let's say 45 miles, give or take, um, you know, it, it would be very delayed in, in hearing it. So, you know, the, the rocket would be well into the sky by the time the initial sound would be heard that distant. Associate Professor of Aerospace Engineering at Florida Tech, Dr. Mark Archambault, says the sound of the SLS could reach as far as 45 miles away from launch pad 39B if the wind is just right. As the crow flies, drawing a straight line from 39B, that's right at the edge of downtown Orlando. It's also 45 miles to DeBerry and the edge of Orange City. St. Cloud is 46 miles away, Daytona Beach is 45, and so is Grant Valcaria, just south of Palm Bay. And the other thing that will matter on Monday is what is between you and the launch pad. For example, I got some big buildings just off to my right. Of course, the buildings would block that sound. So possibly your best bet is if you want to be a little inland, like where we are here, See if we can get up to one of those apartment buildings. See if we can get a clear line of sight so the sound can get to you. And of course, we need the skies to be clear so you can also see it and hear it. In Aldemont Springs, Eric Von Eck at Getting Results, do six. I'm hearing our assignment desk is going to be getting a lot of calls <laughs> when that happens, Eric Von Eck. And thank you so much. I think so. So ClickOrlando.com, packed with info about the Artemis One launch next week. We have stories on the mission, overview, traffic, even good breakfast spots to eat and see the launch. You can find it all right there on the homepage. And News 6 wants to give you the chance to witness history up close. We're giving a lucky insider two tickets to watch the liftoff from Kennedy Space Center's visitor complex. You can enter once a day through next Tuesday. Just head to ClickOrlando.com slash insider for your chance to win.